rush on the wall. But I got from the gym, that's the reason I say it's coming back at you with another ride of talk. But I get started as I always do. I like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kakadash. The minds to the elders and apostles of Green Millstone. The salutation to the Oculus, pushing the truth and sincerity. And all willingness to be edifying. First and foremost, the whole free left. Then to those that cleave to the body. It's a lot. Alright. And today's lesson, I want to get into the mighty rushing in of waters. Alright, which we know the waters represent people. Then that rushing in represents the flood, which our enemies, alright, is going to. <clears throat> The roar up waves against us, man. All right, preferably against the elect. All right, who are girding their loins up and making themselves a defense city, and you know, hoping that our refuge, our refuge, be the strong uh, tower in the name of the Lord. Going back to Proverbs 18 and 10. All right, and uh, I did it. I uh, sometimes, you know, when you don't have a lesson, man, one precept is a lesson. There's one precept. All right. What it'll do, it'll open the uh the airwaves to you to thinking of other precepts. Now, I thought about the precept that I got last night, and it just was sticking in my spirit. All right, it's in Psalm 66 and 12. All right, when we was going into uh, temptation last night, man, I came on a uh, uh, on a Shabbat lesson, and the precept just it just been in my spirit, you know. So you know, through the spirit, I got it, you know, got in the car. Really, just didn't have a lot. Just only had that precept. All right, but through, through it, you know, I was able to come through with a quick lesson, man, just thinking upon it, man, all right? See, when you think upon the precepts of the Lord, all right, it, it what? It gives you uh, abundance to the mind, well, abundance to the thoughts, man, all right, which helps you formulate a topic, man, all right? And again, this just was a ride of talking through the spirit. I ain't going to be long. I'm going to hit the points, and I want to hone in on rushing in of the mighty waters, all right? The mighty man of the earth right now, which we know is the uh, wicked, all right? And they're going to rush in, you know, pursuant to the book of Exodus, they shall come in like a flood, all right? But these are things that our uh, forefathers seen, all right, and also experienced and went through that they recorded it, all right? That their writings can be for our learning now that we may prevail through the strong waters, man, all right? I'm going to get started with the I come back with the uh, Isaiah 66. I mean the Psalm 66. This Isaiah 17. I'm gonna start at uh, uh, 12. It says, "Woe to the multitude of many people, which makes a which make a noise like the noise of the seas, and to the rush, and to the rushing of the nations that make a rushing like the rushing rushing of mighty waters. The nations shall rush, rush, rush." Like the rushing of many waters, but God shall rebuke them, and they shall flee far off, and shall be chased as the chaff of the mountains before the wind, and like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. Because the the, the scripture that I read in sixty six, matter of fact, let me get it. I'm gonna come right back to that. This Psalm sixty six and twelve. I probably should have started with this, but it's all good. It says, Thou hast caused me to ride, cause men to ride over our heads. And that just like, you know, the wicked is riding over the, 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 the righteous head, man. All right? Servants uh, rule over us, man. All right? Wicked men oppress us. It says, We went through fire and through water. All right? And that water, all right, both of these are signs of what? That these men that rode over our heads. All right, intended that they were what? They would kill us, man. All right, or that our father will forsake us and that we'll become what? We'll become um, targets, man. All right, unto them to where they can do as they please with us. But the father ain't having it, man. He wasn't having it in the time of Psalms, which I'm reading. All right, and Isaiah, all right, are these different prophets times, so he's not going to have it now. It says, thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou brought us out into a wealthy place. See, we're going to win in the end. All right? It says, even though the nations shall rush like the rushing of many waters, the Lord shall rebuke them, man. Because, again, the Lord rebuke the waves, man. All right? So we know if the Lord can rebuke the actual waters, all right, which once flooded the earth and he didn't rebuke the 
rebuke, he re, uh, didn't rebuke the waters that they may stay where they are, all right, but allowed them to cover the, the whole face of the earth, saving only eight people alive. How much more, all right, when he uh, used the people as a parable of water that he controls it, man, all right? If he control actual water, the people don't stand a chance, man. So the Lord is using the people as a metaphor because water is unstoppable, you know? And the Lord, like, look, I'm going to stop them at my rebuke. Matter of fact, let me get that. Let me finish this off right here, um, Isaiah 17 and 14. It says, and behold, at the evening tide, let me read 13 again, a nation shall rush like the rushing of many waters, but God shall rebuke them, and they shall flee far off. And shall be chased as the chaff, chaff of the mountains before the wind, and like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. <laughs> and behold, at evening tide trouble, and before the morning he is not. This is the portion of them that spoil us, and the lot of them that rob us, man. All right. Remember, the Lord rebuked the the, the, the seas, man. All right. Which are the actual rivers, man? All right. He rebuked the waves, man. The waves are uh, honking, all right. Uh, uh. All right, let me get it. All right, this Job thirty-eight. Everything good, so like it. All right. Woo! God damn, man. I might read all these precepts. All right. Let me see something real quick. All right. This Job. Yeah, because, you know, even during the time of David, you know, in 2 Samuel 2, 20, 20 and 5, he says, when the ways of death waves of death come past me the floods of ungodly men made me afraid the lord you know the lord uh protected david man all right let me, let me see right. i want to stay where i'm at wow it's all good man I like all these precepts that's prayers of the lord huh. yeah you know you you want to you know you have the Thought in your head to do a little small lesson and it'll just turn out big, man. All right, because the Lord is our rock, deliverer, our shield, everything. All right, it says, The sorrows of hell could pass me about, the snares of death preventing me. In my distress, I called upon the power and cried to, uh, called upon Yahweh and cried to my power. And he did hear my voice out of his temple and my cry did enter into his ears. Then the earth shook. And trembled the foundations of the earth moved and shook because he was he was rough. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. Devoured, coals were kindled by. He bowed the heavens also and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rolled upon a cherub and did fly, and he was seen upon the wings of the wind. Which are the angels, right? And he made darkness pavilions round about him dark waters and thick clouds of the skies through the brightness before him were the coals fire kindled the Lord thundered from heaven and the most high uttered his voice and he sent out arrows and scattered them lightnings and discomforted them all right and the channels of the sea appeared the foundations of the world were discovered at the rebuking of Yahweh at the blast of the breath of his nostrils he sent me from above he took me he drove, drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy. See, water, the strong mighty waters today is the, our enemy. And from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. You see? So the waves of the world right now are, are, are they, which is the wicked. All right? Heavy. All right? Man, I'm getting all this, man. I know I'm. It's a lot. Huh. I know I'm all over the place. It is what it is. Because again, I, I didn't have this lesson 
prepared. I thought about that precept and all these pre precepts just popped in my head, man. All right, so I'm going I'm to just go with the flow. You know? I'm going to just ride it out. This Job 38. There we go. I'm going to start at 7. It says, when the morning stars sank together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Or who, here you go, I'm going to start at 8. Or who shut up the seas with doors when it break forth as if it had issued out of the womb? You see? It says, when I made the cloud, the garment dove, and thick darkness and swaddling band for it. <laughs> and break up for it my decreed place and set bars and doors. And said here to them, here, here to them, shall thou come? But go no further. And here shall thou proud ways be stayed. You see? Huh. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days and caused the day spring to know its place, that it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it? So the Lord controls, all right, as the Lord controlled all the things that was made, so do he control the wicked, all right? He can control the wicked. As waters, all right. That's why he say uh, in Proverbs twenty one and one, he said the king, the king heart, that the the king, the the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. He changed him wheresoever he please, like the rivers of waters. He changed him wheresoever he please, man. All right. Psalm forty two and seven it says, deep call it unto deep at the noise of thy water sprouts. All the waves and the billows are going over me, man. You see? So I'm just giving you examples of uh, pretty much how the Lord allow waters to, to come upon us, which waters are troubles in a way, all right, which I've been reading to you, all right? This is a uh, Psalm 65, right? And seven. Huh. All right, this is this on this on the fly here. Yeah. This 65 and 5. It says, By terrible things and righteousness will thou answer us, O God of our salvation, who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of them that are far off upon the sea, which by his strength set it fast the mountains, being girded with his power, man. Because the mountains of, of rushing waters and nations of, 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 of waters is the mountains of the wicked right now, man. Alright? It says, which still it the noise of the seas, the noise of their waves, and the tumult of the people. You see? So waters are, are like rushing uh, trouble unto us, man. Meaning we can't hold that back, at least the Lord hold it back. Which I'm going to end it with Psalms 124, ultimately, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to read a couple of these precepts and then I'll I end it with that. This is uh, Psalms 88 and 7. Thy wrath lied hard upon me, and thou has afflicted me with all thy waves. Salah. Yeah, we have, you know, we troubled on every side, man. All right? But though the, the Lord going to what? Deliver us out of it. <clears throat> 89 and 9 Psalms. Thou rulest the raging of the sea when the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Uh, thou stillest them. So the Lord, all right, is gonna hold back this volume of water. And again, water has volume to it. All right. Meaning what? It's un it's uncontrollable. There's no stopping water when it's coming in, man. All right. That's why the Lord what flooded the with, 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 uh, the earth with water, man. All right. So the <laughs> it's like the Lord cleaned the earth because you know the water represent a washing clean. 
all right? And the fire gonna purify it. That's why I said in Psalm, uh, Psalm 66 and 12, it says, we have been through water and through fire, all right? But the Lord bringeth us to what? His dwelling place, you see? So in the end, we gonna have to bend, bend up and through that fire and that water, that same fire and the water that John baptized us with in the Lord, all right, hit us with that fire, man, all right? Which is, you know, goes into knowledge and understanding and, you know, protect, you know, is a, is a, uh, is multifolded, man. All right, you got to know the context in which you're speaking, man. All right, but it can be used, you know, and put in different places right here, man. All right. This Psalms 93 and 3, the floods have lifted up, or oh, oh, the power, the floods have lifted up the voice. The floods lift up their waves, you see? <laughs> 93 and 4, next verse. Yahweh on high, mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. So our Lord got us, man. We good, we Gucci. <laughs> you know, how Jay said, we Gucci, man. We Gucci good. You know, the Lord commanded and raised up the stormy winds, man, which lifted up the waves thereof, man. All right, wind is, you know, likened unto destruction. All right, you can, you, but the Lord, so uh control the winds in which they go, man. All right. And you put a force behind it, the Lord gonna raise the, the 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 waters up of the earth, which is other wicked people, all right, with a mighty wind. All right, that wind is that destruction. All right, the Lord gonna raise them up. All right, and of course, you know, the wind, all right, the Lord also got the angels as the winds, you know, you know, pursuing to that, but the Lord used his sword as the same, man. All right. <laughs> Psalm 107 and 29. He making the storm a calm so that the waves thereof are still, man. So the Lord is in charge if you get the message or the drift here, man. You know? This Jeremiah 5 and 22, it says, Fear ye not me, said Yahweh, will ye tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. Through the, though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet they cannot pass over it, man. You see? Because the Lord is in control. Though the wicked uh, uh, plan a plot all right, to, to uh, destroy us, though yet the Lord, like, hey, you got to get permission from me, man, all right, every judgment and decree coming of the Lord, not of man, man, all right, that probably be it, okay, Let me get that wisdom of Solomon. This wisdom of Solomon 14 and 1. It says, again, one preparing himself to sail and about to pass through the raging waters, call it upon a piece of wood more rotten than a vessel that carry him. <laughs> For verily desire of gain devised that and the workman built it by his skill, man. And that wood, all right, or that vessel right now, is, you know, that we, we, we believe in and trust in, all right, that's that wood that's made by righteousness, which is of the most high, man. It says, but the private providence or for the governing. See, the Lord is governing that wood, man. All right? Because we, you know, we going through that fire and that water, man. All right, there's only one way to go. It says, for thou has made a way in the sea and a safe pit, a safe path in the waves, man. So we good. All right? We good, man. All right, no matter, if, you know, it seemed like we're going to be shipwrecked. Paul went through shipwreck, right? A couple times and lived, all right? If my, if, you know, my memory served me correctly. Paul was shipwrecked in the deep three days, all right? But guess what? He lived, man. It says, showing that thou canst save from all danger. Yea, though a man went through sea without off, all right? Nevertheless, thou would is not that the works of thy wisdom should be idle, and therefore do men commit themselves, commit their lives to a small piece of wood, and passing 
the rough sea and the weak vessel are saved, man. That's the point. All right? The waters, the deep, nothing can, can uh, keep us if the Lord have us in his hands, man. Nothing can, can uh, take us away seeing the Lord have us, man. All right? Even when Peter, I believe, walked on the water, man, his faith dropped. That's why he uh, began to sink. All right? Other than that, he going to make it through the water. As long as he had faith, he walked on the water or through the water for that sake, man. All right? I'm going to jump to seven. It says, for blessed is the word whereby righteousness came. And that's and that's the word we come of, by righteousness, man. So the Lord going to save us. All right? If you righteous, you practicing righteousness and stay there upon, the Lord going to save you, man. All right? It's nothing else to do you except you be right. There's nothing else to do but save you, man. All right? That's the only results. And we, we doing righteousness, man. Okay? Let me get this, uh, get out of here. All right? Again, thou has caused men to ride over our heads. We went through that fire and that water that they put on us. All right? But thou brought it us into a wealthy place, man. A wealthy place is the kingdom of heaven. All right? That's the riches, the glory. All right, let me get this and get out of here. This is uh, so, uh Psalms 124 and 1. A song of the degrees of David. If it had not been Yahweh who was on our side, now may Israel say. If it had not been Yahweh who was on our side, when men rose up against us, see? When men ro uh, uh, rolled over our heads, man. Then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul, which is the wicked. All right. Which, you know, goes into the depths of the wicked, which is, you know, the, 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 the elites, you know, those who really want to take us out, man. All right. The, the, you know, the, the, the wicked elites. It says, blessed be Yahweh who had not given us a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of Yahweh who made heaven and earth, man. Which I got to go out with this one. You know, to prove that our help is, is in the name of Yahweh, which I started out with. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and it's safe. Yeah, in, a, in that storm, in that ship, all right, when it's sailing all through the rough waters, all right, and no man knoweth how the ship going to uh, maintain itself, that it don't tip over and the men aboard don't drown, guess what, man? Yahweh shot is the helm of that thing, man, all right? That little bitty helm is Yahweh shot, which is our savior. He's going to steer us through that, that sturdy time, all right, that uh, rough, those rough, uh, Storms and winds that's going across the waters, man, that could shake our spirit and cause us to, um, you know, lose faith in the Lord. Yahweh Shah got us, man. He's our salvation, man. We can't lose. We got Yahweh Shah as our salvation, all right, and we got Yahweh as our name, our strong name to run into, man. Ain't no losing, all right? So, again, as these rushing waters come upon us, man, prepare to get wet, but we not going to drown, man. So I've been rocking Zawa's out of fine man until the next time I say shall I won't.